All right, this is a plea. Is this a plea? All right, court is calling 2021 CR 9763C, State of Texas versus Thomas Blinko. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Nick Wilkins for the state, Your Honor. Roger Pettis for Mr. Blinko, Your Honor. Are you Mr. Blinko? Yes, ma'am. Counselor, have you received all the discovery? Did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Blinko, I'm showing you what's entitled application for deferred adjudication or community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, I did. Ma'am. And did you sign it? Yes, I did. I'm going to show you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? We do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Blinko, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of robbery? That's a second degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, sir. I mean, if yes, ma'am. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you, and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state will call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by entering this plea you were giving up those rights? Yes, Your Honor. Did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Hmm? Yes. All right. Is there a uh, request for deferred adjudication on this or no? Just probation. Just regular probation. All right. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Blinko, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, Your Honor. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, Your Honor. Satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, I did, Your Honor. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at six years in the prison. There's a $2,000 fine, and the state recommends community supervision. Did you understand that to be the plea? So Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? Yes, Your Honor. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? State, Your Honor. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Counselor, have there been any such motions? None, Your Honor. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. The state is requesting that your community supervision for a term of six years, there'd be a TAP evaluation, 200 hours of community service restitution, no contact with Jeremy Fierce, F-E-A-R-C-E, Juan Mello, M-E-L-L-O, Anthony Chukhansky, K-O-C-H-A-N-S-K-I. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, Your Honor. Then to the offenses charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? State any evidence? Your Honor, I offer State's Exhibit 1 in the attachments. No objections, Your Honor. All right, and State, if you need to continue to confer, you may do so. Thank you, Judge. Yes. Going to show you what's entitled Wavering Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony? Did you understand? Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments and review the same.
After reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty, and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? We are, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Uh, you may have remembered this case from before. Yes. Where there are a number of folks. Uh, he went through a, a little bit of a, of a slip up, if, if I may. Uh, but now he's living in a sober living environment. He's completed a, a number of programs on his behalf, on his own behalf, at his own volition. He's realized the mistake he made. Uh, he was re the recipient of a of a sum of monies that he, where he improperly acted, and so uh, we're just hopeful to get on track with this. All right. Are you employed? No way. So how are you supporting yourself? I'm on Social Security. Mm -hmm. And my understanding that you came into some money, and I'm assuming that money is gone. Yeah, yeah. And how much was it? About eight thousand. And so you blew eighteen. I mean, sorry, eight thousand dollars. Heroin and alcohol. Mm -hmm. All right. Court is going to sentence you to six years in the prison, suspended and probated for six years. There's a two thousand dollar fine that will be probated. I'm going to want a TAP evaluation. That's going to be in custody and follow the recommendations of TAP. Judge, he is living in a, and has been living in a sober living environment. He's also done a couple of other programs. I, I, um, I did the, the right step out in Wimberley, did a 35 day, um, stay there with, um, with the completion um, I'm doing my I IOPs now that are out now. Um, I got uh, set up with a psychiatrist and a trauma counselor, and I'm doing um, family sessions too. Okay, so here's my problem. The problem is that your case has been out there, and I have continually set this for us to get you in, and you just disappeared. I went in October, October 4th, 14th, and... Um, I graduated the whole, the whole, um, the, the detox, the Wimberley thing on um, November 29th. Right. So you're going to be, yes. We did not have a phone contact that was working at that time, but he, and then when I finally got a hold of him, he said, well, I was in the Wimberley program. Now he's living in a sober living environment in Austin. So we'd actually like if Austin can be part of the, the, the area where he can be permitted to reside. Uh, I'm going to order that the child be done in custody. If, there's documentation that he's in a sober living facility in Austin, then I will consider that, yeah. but I don't have any documentation. So there's going to be tap in custody. And if he can, if you can provide that information, we can always have him brought over, but the last day he will be able to be brought over will be December 18th. So tap in custody, follow tap recommendations, 200 hours of community service restitution, no contact with Jeremy Fierce. Uh, Juan Mello. Anthony Chakansky. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. The UA hotline until further notice. And we can do a transfer to Austin. What county is that? Travis. Okay, transfer to Travis County. Anger management. And 90 sober meetings in 90 days. Proof of employment or SSI within 30 days of release. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors and no unsupervised contact with minors. Uh, probation, is there anything else he needs? Okay. Is there anything else you need from the court? No. 
Um, oh. Just so the tap can it be maybe expedited? Um, well, there you know where the holidays are upon us, so I can say expedited, but I'm just saying expedited. It's going to be whenever they they're able to get it done. Does it need to be with him in custody? He's he's at a sober living environment. That no, it needs to be in custody. Unless he provides me proof, because and then I'll consider it. Proof of the, the sober living resident. I think we can make that happen. Maybe as early as later today. Right. I think I can ask him to fax the letter. All right. I'm yeah. going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. Because it's a plea bargain agreement. Because I followed your plea bargain agreement. Because you waive your right to appeal. You do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. You understand? Sure. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Whenever you all are ready, let me know. Is there anyone else ready? I'm ready to go to the next announcement, please. This is on Mr. Williams. Who's on it? No. Okay. Oh, there is. Okay. We'll recall the warrant. He's going to be in custody for the TAP evaluation. Let me see the follow back on Mr. Blinko then. Josiah Williams. <laughs> Josiah Williams. So, uh, so what's happening with this case? Oh, we've, we've worked out an arrangement on it, Judge. Uh, I need to get Mr. Williams over to the Michigan Court so he can do a plea on a companion terroristic threat that will dismiss the felony. Um, I'm playing just a few days. I don't know how, how quickly they can bring him over to either to a jail court or if they can add him to the docket. Which court is it? Uh, County Court 4, Judge. Is it 7? Oh, well, 7's on the assault case. Um, yeah. Did they move it to 7? Because I was showing County Court 4. Because you all want to call County Court 4 and see if they're available for him now? Definitely try, Judge. Hmm? Norma? I'll walk down there. Can you call County Court 4 and see if they're able? They moved it to 7, Judge. Oh, it's County Court 7. Can you call County Court 7 and see if they can take a plea? We'll see if we can get it done today. Could you let them know? All right, because can you let them know he's in custody? So what's the earliest? So I'm pretty open. I don't have now. All right, judge is out. That's fine, Judge. They can take care of it in the morning, tomorrow morning. That's fine, Judge. Let's just recall it. Um, All right, 9 a.m. Can you give them the case number and everything? It's on the terroristic threat. It's a companion case. Uh, case number 716066. So you, you want to just recall this case then for tomorrow, Judge? And then we'll well, uh, what we'll do is... He'll go to county court number seven, and then once that's done, you just come here and we'll do the dismissal that way. That's okay. Fine, All right. So your case will be taken care of tomorrow. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. okay. I'll work on that. Yes. Uh, I'm going to email them. I will. I'll, I'll take care first thing. All right, thank you. Thank you, Judge. Maybe she's solving problems. <laughs> no, I mean, she's trying to get it done, Judge. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Take care. Uh, 
Uh, just make sure it's on the docket for tomorrow, but you don't have to put it on the docket per se. Just make sure that we have the file. Okay. All, right. All right, thank you. Uh, Lorraine, are you ready with Ms. Rodriguez? Uh, Renee, this is Ms. Uh, Cooper. Ah, uh, Cooper. Is Mr. Rodriguez. Ms. Rodriguez, we can do real quick. All right, can I see Rodriguez then? We'll take care of it. Okay. And then next we'll take up Cooper. Okay. All right. So what are we doing? Uh, his plea deadline was extended to today because a new offer was made. So what is happening? Uh, Mr. Rodriguez rejects offer and okay. asks for a jury trial. All right, Mr. Rodriguez, your plea deadline date has expired. And I have the discovery acknowledgement. How long do you all expect this trial to last? Including jury selection, no more than two days. Two days? All right, Ms. Ferguson? Uh, two days and it's family violence. We haven't discussed whether we're to go to judge or jury for punishment, but um, I guess that could impact it a little bit. We haven't made that decision yet. February 13th. All right. Day before Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right. That's when your jury trial will be. Thank you, Judge. Okay. You're welcome. And are you ready on Miss Cooper? Yeah. Can I see the file on Cooper? Cooper? No, I don't have Cooper. I don't have Ruiz. Okay, thank you. All right, on this one, it's a motion to revoke. Yes. And we're, we're working hard on it. It's a little complicated because of uh, our immigration situation and a possible case out of Bastrop that looks like it's still pending, but she believes is dismissed or is going to be dismissed. dismissed and, and there's one pending. So, um, so at this time, we're, we're asking, um, I guess, for a setting on a contested, but hopefully we'll have it worked out and for a bond. All right, Ms. Ferguson, yes, sir. set this for a contested hearing. Mm -hmm. Eat of the doggy. 